So today I'm outside just harvesting some asparagus and how I generally do this is I use a knife and I cut it right at the ground level pretty much. You wanna be careful when doing this because you don't wanna hit any other ones that are popping up. Uh, you can inadvertently hit one that's underneath the soil. You don't know it's there. So just be mindful. You can use um, a pair of different types of, of shears. If you have some good shears, you could use a knife like this. You can even break it off, but this is the method that I use. And you basically just Just like that, and uh, you can, you know, you, what you what you do is you you can snap this. It'll snap when it's when it's ready. You don't want to have too much of the fiber because it's very tough and chewy. But you can use that for uh, other recipes. Generally speaking, I'll cut these up and I will put them in my eggs for breakfast, or I'll grill them up with some steak or something along those lines. Um, if if they're about this size you can typically fry them up in a pan but if they get to be like some of these ones here these are monstrous and what i'll do with these is i will um, you can either peel them with a peeler or you can even boil them in water and then fry them in a pan so that's typically what i do so i'm going to harvest these we have a, th a thunderstorm coming it snowed the other day uh, two days ago uh, we got a, an inch of snow and two days of frost so hopefully everything in the garden is surviving um, but mostly I have the cold, cold crop things in the ground here. And I'll show you a couple other things, but uh, I prefer the small asparagus to the big asparagus. These are, these are actually supposed to be, I think, um, more tender if you prepare them properly, but I prefer the smaller ones. They're just much easier to cook. So these are actually four years old. We started harvesting them last year. You can harvest them in their second year as well, but you want to do it for a shorter period of time. So maybe two or three weeks uh, once they're fully established, you can harvest for up to eight weeks or so. Um, and I think you want to stop sometime in the beginning of July or end of June. You don't want to go too far. And what I do is I basically come in there with a knife like I showed in the video. And that seems to be a good method of doing it. That knife wasn't really the best knife, but it was the one that was clean at the time. I like to harvest them when they're eight to ten inches in height. And like I mentioned, I don't like the big spears that are real thick. They're too thick. They're hard to cook, I find. Now you want to stop harvesting spears when the diameter of the spears um, become like the size of a pencil. Now I allow the ferns to grow. I don't cut them down. So you want to make sure that you don't cut them back. They absorb the sunlight and then make the root ball stronger. Now as far as fertilizing goes, I fertilize these at the end of the season. I also fertilize them a little bit in the like very early spring, just a little bit with like a 10-10-10 mixture, and I've had pretty good luck with that. I also try to spread some uh, compost from our compost pile on top of these and spread it around them as well. All right, here's just a quick harvest. Just a handful of the ones I have. I hope you have a great day. And the weather is uh, going to be on our side soon. Be able to plant the rest of the garden. And I'm really looking forward to this year. So we'll see you in the next video.